Hey guys, Blazin here, and today, in this video, I want to talk about Splitgate 2 and the loadout options you have. Uh, I just want to give my opinions on the guns that I've been using, and which I've used all of them, and I just want to give my subjective thoughts, I guess, on what attachments I'm working out, and my overall thoughts on the weapon sandbox. So let's do this. Alright, let's first start off with the Eros weapon sandbox. Uh, I haven't really been using too much of the rush ability, I'll be honest. But let's start off with the primary weapons, of course, with the Cadence. Uh, this is my favorite uh, rifle, and Eros is my main, uh, I guess, faction, by the way. But anyways, yeah. The the Cadence is my probably my favorite primary weapon that I use a lot. And uh, the attachments I've been messing around with lately that, that work best for me are Grip and Rapid Fire, as I find this gun to be pretty all around. But of course, due to it being a precision rifle, naturally, it's going to get shit on by assault rifles and SMGs. So one way to combat that is mainly rapid fire. Rapid fire helps me combat the assault rifles and SMGs of the other classes. And grip, just because, I mean, hey, why not? It's already an accurate weapon, but like I said, you're, you're getting rushed down with by assault rifles and SMGs. You're going to want maybe that extra accuracy to help you out. So you're going to have to deal with the recoil on top of getting, you know, getting full autoed by other weapons. Uh, extended mag, I do not recommend for the cadence. As, as a matter of fact, in my opinion, extended mag might be the weakest attachment to put on any gun right now. Uh, fast mag you can never go wrong with, but honestly, for the most part, I haven't really found myself using fast mag too much. At least on the cadence. I have tried impact ammo with the cadence. It, I think uh, impact ammo on, on this rifle, I think, is an option. But if you're going to use impact ammo, I think I would recommend rapid fire to go along with it to kind of combat the decreased rate of fire that you get when using impact ammo. Because what impact ammo does, at least for the cadence, is basically no headshot region is required. This means the cadence will always be a three shot. Typically, I think the cadence is a four shot to the body, three shots to the head. Uh, what impact ammo does is basically, you know, decreases the fire rate and it's always a three shot no matter what. So it kind of makes the cadence a little brain dead, but you know, it's an option if you want. So, and then there's barrel extension, which it's already a precision rifle. I don't think a barrel extension makes any sense to put in the cadence whatsoever. So barrel extension and extended mag might be the two biggest attachments to ignore the cadence. A uh, fast mag is an option, but at least for me, I don't recommend it personally. I think my biggest recommendations or combinations, I should say, is either rapid fire and grip or rapid fire and impact ammo. I think rapid fire, uh, I think might be a must for the cadence. As a matter of fact, I'll, I might say this right now. I think rapid fire might be the most meta attachment that almost might be a must have on each gun. But yeah, so you can either mess around rapid fire and grip or rapid fire and impact ammo, depending on what you want with the cadence. As of right now, I think I'm using rapid fire and grip. And since that's your rifle, well, let's take a look at the blink light pistol. The blink light pistol is a pretty good medium like type of pistol. It's pretty all around. Like there is weapon spread on it, but it's not terrible. It's not laser accurate, but it's still very accurate for what it is. Um, so if the weapon spread does bother you, then, you know, go with laser sight. Because they're, they're definitely, like I said, there's definitely is weapon spread, but it's not, like, completely terrible. But if that does bother you, then you can go and add laser sight to it. Uh, fast mag, you can never go wrong with. And barrel extension, I think in this case, if you're using the cadence as your primary weapon, uh, barrel extension is not necessary at all. Because, you know, you have the cadence. So if you're using the cadence, I would recommend either fast mag or laser sight. And, uh, yeah, that's my opinion on that primary rifle or arrows. Let's move on to the assault rifle. The assault rifle Tempo. This is a pretty good all-round assault rifle. Pretty accurate, but not, you know, too accurate or inaccurate. It's just a really good all-round assault rifle. So it's kind of like a Lego gun. You can kind of customize this gun to your playstyle or the way you want. I want to say, at least with this gun, there's almost like no bad attachment, except, as usual, <laughs> extended mag. I think extended mag is just unnecessary on this gun. Uh, extended mag for the tempo, just ignore. I do not recommend it at all. I also want to say maybe you don't need grip. The recoil on this gun is pretty controllable. I don't think you need grip on this gun. I think you you might want to mess around with barrel extension and rapid fire probably. I'm not even sure if I could recommend laser sight on this gun. This is a pretty accurate assault rifle. The weapon spread on it isn't terrible. So for the tempo, I would probably recommend rapid fire and grip or rapid fire and barrel extension. 
Uh, the barrel extension mainly to help you fight off against other rifles. You know, like the Cadence, the Quantum, and the Warden of each class. Grip is an option only if the recoil bothers you. So unlike the Cadence where I kind of had two options of, of attachments, I feel like for the tempo, I think you're, you're going to want Rapid Fire and Barrel Extension. I think those are the two weapon attachments to go. Or maybe you're looking to make this assault rifle close quarters, then maybe you're going to want Rapid Fire and Fast Mag. And this, again, this really depends on your build because, at least for me, Rapid Fire and Barrel Extension, like those are my go-to attachments with this weapon. And that leaves the Blink Pistol. I just put Fast Mag on it, since the tempo is going to be doing all the carrying. Or, you know, let's say you make this assault rifle more of a close quarters with rapid fire and fast mag, then maybe you're gonna want something more accurate with the blink pistol, like adding the barrel extension to it. And I really should hammer this in the beginning, but don't ignore the pistols. The pistols are really good in this game, especially the Meridian's pistol. Think of them as an extension that complements your primary, or that could potentially cover a, your primary weapon's weakness. Remember what Call of Duty 4 taught us? But yeah, overall, like I said, rapid fire is a must, and then you can either combine that with grip or barrel extension. Most likely barrel extension. Like I said, this is a pretty accurate assault rifle. Laser sight is almost unnecessary. I keep coming back to just rapid fire and barrel extension being the go-to weapon attachments for this gun. And then the blink, just put fast mag on it. And those are pretty much my thoughts on the tempo assault rifle. Next, let's talk about the sprinter. It's a pretty interesting SMG. The first 10 shots are really fast, and then after that, the rest of the mag, it stabilizes the fire rate. Pretty cool. Naturally, it being an SMG, my mind already goes to barrel extension for that range and then maybe laser sight to kind of tighten the grouping of the gun because unlike the assault rifle this is this gun has a little bit more spread and a little bit more recoil than the assault rifle of, of arrows so if you want this gun to carry you a little more then barrel extension and maybe laser sight might be the way to go or if you want to enhance this smg's nature then maybe you might want to go rapid fire and fast mag and then the blink pistol you should have barrel extension depends on the build you want once again, extended mag is, I think, is unnecessary on this gun. Grip is definitely an option. The recoil is definitely noticeable on this gun compared to the other two primaries. I feel like the attachments you want to mess around with this gun are barrel extension, grip, laser sight, and rapid fire. Fast mag is an option if you're looking to really rush down on players, if that is your playstyle that you're, that you're going for. I would almost recommend the same attachments as the assault rifle. Maybe you want barrel extension and rapid fire on the sprinter, and then for blink, Maybe you'll want laser sight to get that accuracy, since obviously the SMG's nature is, you know, it's going to spread. Overall though, I find this SMG, like the recoil is, is definitely high, but it is controllable in its respectable ranges up close. So maybe you might want rapid fire and barrel extension for that range, or rapid fire and laser sight to just improve the accuracy of the gun. Depends what you want. If you made the sprinter for up close uh, battles, then the blink pistol, you should have barrel extension on it. And if you added some range to the uh, SMG then, or try to make it more accurate, you'll probably want laser sight. I don't think you'll want fast mag, unless you're really going for the close quarter build. But yeah, those are my thoughts, overall thoughts on the Sprinter SMG. Counted, drone capture. Next, let's move on to Meridian. Uh, Meridian basically has wall hacks. And the first primary we're going to start off is with the Synapse Assault Rifle, which is essentially the plasma rifle. Uh, compared this to the Tempo Assault Rifle from Arrows, uh, this assault rifle kind of requires a little bit more accuracy from you, uh, the player, as the margin of error when the weapon spreads is a just slightly or a little more unforgiving. You kind of have to hit your shots a little bit more with this gun than the Tempo Assault Rifle. But the gun kind of makes up for that with its high rate of fire. So as far as attachments that I've been using is once again rapid fire and barrel extension. So barrel extension is an option to use. Rapid fire as I'll always say is pretty much a must. Extended mag is unnecessary. I mean it already has 35 rounds. Fast mag you can never go wrong with. I think laser sight is unnecessary on this assault rifle. It's already pretty accurate. So I don't recommend laser sight or extended mag uh, on this gun. Either have rapid fire and barrel extension, or rapid fire and grip. Uh, that's all that needs to be said about this gun. It's it's uh 
more laser accurate than the Tampo assault rifle, but at the cost of it, we you know when the weapon starts to spread, the margin of error is a little bit more unforgiving. So you, you want to hit your shots more with this gun. But the higher rate of fire than the Tempo kind of makes up for it a little bit. Overall, really good assault rifle. In fact, this is what I use when I play Meridian. Those are my quick thoughts on the Synapse. It's a very good gun. And uh, since this is laser accurate, let's talk about the Helios pistol real quick. This is the best pistol out of the three classes. It's really good. I think it's the most accurate pistol out of the three. And uh, honestly, if you're using this and my recommended attachments, you know, rapid fire, barrel extension, or rapid fire and grip, you know, then Helios, I just recommend Fast Mag. Laser side, I think it's almost unnecessary, like I said, and barrel extension, like, uh, barrel extension maybe you might if you want to, but like I said, this is a very accurate pistol, the most accurate out of all the pistols. So most likely I, I recommend, I'm gonna recommend Fast Mag for this pistol. But yeah, those are my thoughts on uh, this combo. Let's move on. Uh, the Quantum Burst Rifle. This is the, in my opinion, the hardest rifle to use out of the three classes. I feel like this this quantum rifle is designed for mouse and keyboard users. Because at least for me on controller, this is this is difficult to use. But one way for sure to help me, you know, make the gun easier to use is of course rapid fire to kind of, you know, so I can fire faster and each burst you miss, you'll at least have an, another burst ready. And you know, just overall makes the gun easier to use. And uh, this gun has a unique attachment called Bullet Burst, which essentially just increases the burst itself. It is a full round burst gun. All it does is just tighten the burst spread even tighter. This gun has also quite a bit of recoil with each burst. Extended mag is completely unnecessary. I think I'd even argue fast mag is unnecessary on this gun. You're not going to be rushing with this gun necessarily. So I'd mess around with bullet burst, rapid fire, or grip. Oh, and impact ammo. But I feel like impact ammo, I, I think I'd only recommend it for you if you're really good with this gun. Then maybe you want to counteract that with rapid fire. But that's all, I, I think I'd recommend that only if you find yourself hitting shots with this gun. Uh, for me, I, I definitely might use rapid fire and grip. But I also might try impact ammo and grip. So yeah, try and mess around with the combination of bullet burst, impact ammo, rapid fire, and grip. Like I said, extended mag completely unnecessary, and fast mag I think is also unnecessary because I don't think this gun is meant for rushing down or being quick in any way whatsoever. And with that being said, with your Helios, then that just comes down to either fast mag or laser sight. Barrel extension is completely unnecessary when using the Quantum. I mean, most likely I'd use fast mag. Laser sight is like, maybe? Like I've said before, this gun's already very accurate, so most likely I'd recommend fast mag. But you can try laser sight to tighten that spread even further. But yeah, those are my thoughts on uh, the Quantum and with the Helios. And lastly, we for the Meridian, we come with to the Charger shotgun. Uh, definitely a different, very different shotgun. The pump action grip is different on the side, and it's a charge up shotgun. Uh, the unique attachment this comes with is melee knuckles, which essentially just increases melee speed. So it still takes two hits to melee, but you just melee faster. But in my opinion, you're not going to be meleeing a lot in this game. So for the shotguns, I'm most likely not going to recommend melee knuckles. Now, I know I've been shitting on the extended mag attachment, but for shotguns, you know, you could try extended mag. But as far as what I would recommend, in my opinion, I would either have rapid fire and barrel extension, or rapid fire and laser sight. Or maybe you'll want rapid fire and fast mag. And then your Helios, considering this is a shotgun, uh, honestly, you might want barrel extension, since your primary is going to be a shotgun, and it's not going to have, you know, it's always not going to have good range. So in this case, with the Helios pistol, I might recommend barrel extension when using the charger. And yeah, those are my thoughts on the Meridian loadout weapons. And finally, we come to Sabrask. Uh, this is the last faction in the game. And uh, what he does is essentially just drops down what's called a smart wall. And it's essentially your typical sci-fi shield where, you know, you could shoot your way, but the enemy team can't shoot back at you. So that's what he has. And the first primary weapon he has is the Warden. Now, the Warden is... I like to call it the more brain-dead Cadence. Because essentially, it is similar to the Cadence from Eros, but no headshot is required already. Like, it's already a three-shot no matter what. The Cadence, I think, is 
four shots to the body, three shots to the head. This gun, I think it's just three shots all around. It doesn't matter. So that kind of makes the rifle a little brain dead, but it is kind of balanced out a little bit by the fact that it has two more or less shots. The Gadens has 12 rounds in the mag. This gun has 10 shots in the mag. Uh, its recoil is also slightly higher and its fire rate is slightly slower. So it's got a, oh, and its reload speed is really slow. So it's got a few things to counterbalance that a little bit. But yeah, those are my quick thoughts on the Warden by default. And this might be the one gun that I might recommend extended mag if you want it. I mean, 10 rounds is pretty low, but hey, considering that you don't need a headshot required and it only takes three shots no matter what, it's not that bad. But if it does bother you, extended mag, I, I would say is an option for this gun. Uh, fast mag, again, if you want it. The reload is pretty slow on this gun. It's the slowest reload out of, out of the three precision rifles. So if that reload speed does bother you, then go ahead and use fast mag if you want. I almost don't recommend impact ammo for this gun. I don't think it makes it a two shot or anything, at least as far as I'm aware. If anything, it, I think it's still a three shot kill, but more damage added with the slow rate of fire. I might not recommend impact ammo for this gun. So once again, either rapid fire and grip, because this gun has, the, has a slower rate of fire than the cadence. So either rapid fire and grip, so most likely the go-to attachments are going to be rapid fire and grip to increase that slow fire rate and to calm down that recoil. Or if the recoil doesn't bother you, if you can manage the recoil, maybe you can try rapid fire and impact ammo. And if that reload speed bothers you, then maybe you can try rapid fire and fast mag to counter that really slow reload speed. So those are my quick thoughts on the warden. Let's talk about the slinger pistol. Uh, out of the three pistols, from my experience, this seems to be the most inaccurate pistol out of the three. I think it does the most damage, but it is also the most inaccurate. <laughs> so maybe if you're using it in combination with the Warden, I think you might want laser sight on it to tighten that spread. And uh, yeah, that's all I got to say on this combo. Moving on, the Trailblazer. This assault rifle I feel like is just as accurate as the Synapse assault rifle from Meridian, but with one downside. And that's the fact that out of the three assault rifles, this AR has the most amount of recoil. It jumps up quite a bit. And once again, over and over and over again, extended mag, completely unnecessary. I would almost say fast mag is unnecessary on this gun, actually. Uh, the reload speed is actually very quick. It actually might have the quickest reload speed of, of out of the three ARs, like without fast mag. The other two ARs, you know, the Tempo and the Synapse Assault Rifles, you know, they have average reload speeds. The reload speed on this gun is actually pretty quick. So I actually almost don't recommend Fast Mag, it's uh, unnecessary. And I actually don't recommend Laser Sight on this gun either. Uh, despite it having a, the, the most amount of recoil, the grouping is pretty tight. So all you'll need to mess around with is, of course, the big three. Rapid Fire and Grip, or Rapid Fire and Barrel Extension. So uh, if you can't control that recoil, or if that recoil bothers you, go ahead and use rapid fire and grip. If you can handle the recoil, then go ahead and go for rapid fire and barrel extension. So those are my thoughts on the Trailblazer. And then with the Slinger Pistol, maybe you'll want laser sight. Uh, not barrel extension, the, the Trailblazer Assault Rifle has pretty good range. So I don't recommend barrel extension for the Slinger. I think you'll most likely want laser sight to just tighten that grouping. As I said before, this is the most inaccurate pistol out of the three. Fast mag is an option if you don't mind the spread. And uh, yep, those are my thoughts on that combo. Let's move on to the final weapon, the plow shotgun. So this is your traditional shotgun, and much like the charger shotgun, you could try extended mag or fast mag, one of the two. I don't recommend both, but one of the two if you want. Most likely I'd recommend fast mag, the reload is pretty slow. Melee knuckles completely unnecessary in my opinion. Barrel extension is always an option, especially for a shotgun. Laser sight, it kind of depends. If you're hitting your shots, then go ahead and use laser sight. If you find yourself missing, then maybe I don't recommend laser sight. Rapid fire is meta. It's a must have on basically every gun. So you can either try rapid fire laser sight or rapid fire barrel extension, or if that reload bothers you, rapid fire and fast mag. And since this, your primary is a shotgun, your slinger pistol, you'll most likely want either barrel extension or laser sight. It's kind of funny, out of the Blink and Helios pistols from Eros and Meridian, I almost don't recommend Fast Mag on Slinger. I would most likely recommend Laser Sight or Barrel Extension just due to the fact that this pistol can be more inaccurate than the other two. 
So either go with a barrel extension or laser sight with the Slinger pistol, depending on what you feel. And uh, those are my thoughts on that combo of weapons. And uh, that's pretty much it guys, those are my thoughts on all the loadout weapons in the game and their attachments. And I didn't really go over the equipment and perks because at this point, uh, it, it kind of comes down to playstyle and preference. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, if you did, please leave a like button. Share the video around to let people know that Splitgate 2 exists. Could be a new first person shooter you'll enjoy. I tried to remain objective in this video. I do have some gripes and maybe some negative thoughts that I'll give in another video. But for now, I just wanted to remain objective. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Until next time, peace.